Why don't you tell them where we're going? We're going to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. So we're going to hopefully see some bison and some voodoos and not get rained on. It looks like it's going to start raining. Prairie dogs? Pheasants? But are the prairie dogs out like when it's this cold? I don't know. So we are in North Dakota. It's very flat. Lots of planes. Happy to be here, so we'll take you to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We need to watch out for bison. Hopefully we'll see that. And then in the car, we didn't know where what other animals. Well, here's a bunch. And here's the map of the park. Only the, we're here. Only the south entrance is open right now. And we're definitely gonna do the scenic drive. Um, it's snowing we here. We wanna try to get to these areas too, the petrified forest. Prairie Dog Town, you were talking about them in the car. So I wanna go. go. All right. So we're currently at the prairie dog area. And no one's home. No one is home. See? We even have some on the other side. Nothing. I, I they must be and I saw one yesterday running around. So it's I don't think they like hibernate or anything. And it's well, also almost spring. No one wants to be our friend. No one wants to be out. It's so sad. Prairie dog town. It's literally bison poops everywhere so you see all these and i didn't mention that on the uh, map that there's a turd pile every three feet <laughs> what are we doing now we're walking out to the end of this trail called skyline vista i don't know what's at the end i imagine it's just going to be the overlook of the valley but the scenery is here is amazing it's beautiful it's beautiful all right let's go
right, Annalise, what are we looking at? Yeah, it's bizarre. Makes you wonder how wind could... I know, the one up there. I don't know how wind and rain or whatever can make them into those shapes. It's, it's very odd. Look at that. Oh, looks like you can walk all the way out to that over there. heard you all the way down there. He sees us for sure. It's beautiful. It is cold. But it's beautiful. But it's beautiful. Now we're currently trying to hike up there. So where are we, Joe? Uh, this says it's a coal vein fire, so I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I, I imagine it's just an ongoing burning, uh, an ongoing fire under the ground. So what we're seeing right now is it's smoldering. I'm not exactly sure how it started or if that's true what I just said. Yeah, there's no flames or anything. Right? No. Okay. So this is called the Bright Sunny South, and they're saying that this is due to sun exposure. And without any plants, they're saying that this is what happens to that mountain.
wrote the cannonball. There's Joe. Hello? Answering phone call. What do you think of your little hidey hole? I feel like I'm being birthed. Okay. Look at in here. Oh, wow. You want to get in there? <laughs> you can get in there. It's smaller. Here. Yeah. You get in there. Ooh, this is cozy. I, I can be your. This? I could be your new house. Might be when I'm bad. Oh my gosh, Joe, look. Look at the cannonballs. Oh, wow. It's bizarre how, it's bizarre how spherical they are. Oh, wow, this one's great. Wow, look how, look how circular that is. So this is the back side of the cannonballs. So two, four, six, eight. But this ledge is so cool. It's beautiful. It's like on top of what looks like hardened mud. And then this texture is amazing too.
yeah, it's surprising how amazing it was for us, and then there's really no one there. Um, there was no one behind us or in front of us for the majority of the time. Maybe one other car the whole day. We were there for hours and hours, and there was really no one there. So now we're trying to rush out of here and to go get some food because we're hungry. Yeah, so we're about an hour and a half from the restaurant. So hopefully we can get there before it closes and put our order in. What are we getting? We're getting baked beans, mac and cheese, smoked wings, sausage, ribs. I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's so it. good. That's good. I'm so I'm so excited. We have to go faster and go around this car in front of us. Um, because we need some barbecue. But if you look out, we're back out of the mountains. We're in the grasslands. Again. Yes, we're in the Little Missouri National Grasslands right now. Like, there's yes. there's nothing. Okay, well, minus this farm, but there's nothing. So, um, but it looks really cool. Like, we're trying to get into camping, and there's lots of places to camp here. A lot of places to access the national grasslands. So yeah. I think you could go out there and camp and set up tents if you want. Yeah. So we wrote down some names of things that maybe when we come back we could camp at. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, we hope that you like the park just as much and get excited about all the animals we saw. We loved it. Um, we thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.